Debbie is now a hurricane and is expected to make landfall along Florida's Big Bend Monday and is already bringing heavy rainfall and other impacts. Meteorologist Grant Skinner is here with the latest on Debbie and as you just told me, yeah. we just got that update. Yeah, that was about a couple of minutes ago. I just got that update from the National Hurricane Center. It's now a hurricane with 75 mile per hour winds and it's moving to the north still. Again, it's been kind of moving back and forth a bit and it's still continuing to strengthen over the Gulf of Mexico north at 12 miles per hour as of the 10 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center and that pressure continues to drop now down to 985 millibars continuing to strengthen over the very warm waters in the Gulf of Mexico before it makes landfall on Florida's Big Bend. One thing I have noticed is it's jogged a little bit further to the east. We could see that landfall a little further to the east and that cone has been showing us over the past several hours here in our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Just some isolated showers throughout the day today with some moisture kind of outflowing from that system. We'll see some gusty winds into tomorrow, especially in northwest Florida and a moderate risk for rip currents on Monday and Tuesday. So be very careful at our local beaches as the indirect effects of uh, Debbie here in our stretch of the Gulf Coast. So Hurricane Debbie can a category one hurricane now expected to make landfall Monday morning. You see 7 a.m. Monday 85 mile per hour winds along Florida's Big Bend, then pushing to the north and east weakening significantly once it makes landfall, but then it will stall over areas like Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, dropping a lot of rainfall. Flooding is going to be a big concern for many areas in the path. We're already seeing flash flooding ongoing over parts of Sarasota, Florida, Tampa up through Spring Hill, and we'll continue to see the flash flooding become a big concern for parts of north uh, again, parts of the uh, northern portions of the Florida Peninsula into southern Georgia, southeastern portions of South Carolina and along the North Carolina coastline. Some places getting up to 15 to possibly 20 inches of rain. We're also watching one other area in the central Atlantic moving closer to the windward islands right now a low chance of formation. But again, if we have any updates with this system, we'll keep you up to date on WKRG.com and on air. I'll